Hi there. If you have installed a Eagle Tree OSD Pro with Data Logger in your aircraft, and you would like to display your flight using Google Earth, like you see here, this video will show you how to do that. One of the really nice features that Eagle Tree software offers is the ability to save your flight data as a Google Earth tract and then view your flight in Google Earth like this. Or you can view your flight in an elevated profile like this. Here we can move the mouse around on the lower scale and the red arrow above indicates where the plane would be at that point in time, along with the altitude, speed, distance, slope, etc. Okay, well let's begin by opening the Eagle Tree eLogger software and plugging our plane's data recorder into our computer. And in the software, we'll go up to data and then down to download from recorder. And when you click on that, of course, it'll download all the flights you've recently done. And uh, we can see they're loaded here. And there's a total of 53 uh, minutes worth of flights there. I think a couple of sessions I did. And if we go back up to the data tab and go down to choose sessions, and we can see all our sessions are loaded here. There's, there were two flights. So I'm going to choose uh, flight number one. And I click on that. And uh, here we can see it's loaded uh, that flight. It was a 28 minute flight. So now to view this in Google Earth, what we'll need to do is go up to the File tab and click on Save as a Google Earth Track. And um, you can pretty well save this anywhere you like, your desktop or wherever. I've got a little folder made up here called Google Flying Tracks, so I'll just uh, save it there. To, uh, and we'll just type it in here, April 22nd Flight, and save that. And uh, now we can uh, close down the Eagle Tree software and open Google Earth. Now before we load a flying track, I think it would be a good idea to have a look at my Google Earth settings, just in case when you try this yourself, if something doesn't look or work right, you can compare your settings to mine. Now to do this, we have to go to the Tool tab and then to the Options. And here we can see the uh, options available. And in most cases, um, you, you won't have to make any alterations to these. But um, if you do uh, want to play around in the uh, touring or the navigation tab, uh, there are quite a few things you can do there to uh, give a different appearance to the, uh, to the flight. So um, that's the options menu. So we'll shut that down. And uh, now we'll load a Google Flying Track. And to do that, um, we go to the File tab. And um, under that, we'll go to Open. And basically, we'll open the uh, file we just recently saved. In my case, it was the uh, April 22nd uh, flight. So I'll click on that. And when that opens, you'll notice that um, it opens up as a flying track. Now, if your side view isn't open, you'll have to go up to the View tab and click on Side View or Sidebar. And when that opens, go all the way down to the bottom where you'll find the Temporary Place folder. And you click on these until you open up your session. And when the session, when you've got the session there, you uh, can either right click on it or you can highlight it, go to the top under Edit and under Properties you can make alterations here. Now, um, I will re rename this one as April 22nd flight. And then I might uh, say want to change the icon. So um, we have the Chevron over here. So I'll click on that and uh, I like to change it to the plane. So I'll change that. Click OK. Now you'll have to make a few alterations in these tabs down here. And uh, the main one is in the altitude. 
And if we click on that, we'll see that um, by default it's set for clamp to ground, which uh, we don't want. So click on the drop down box and go to absolute. And another change we should make is here in the view section. And um, you want to have that set for snapshot of current location and then click OK. And now to play your track, you'll have to go down to this little tab here. And when you click on that, it will start playing the track. And I should also mention about this little uh, player here. You can um, uh, play or it has a fast forward uh, or a rewind button or a slider so you can uh, put it to different uh, points of the track. One other thing I should show you is if you go up to the edit tab, you can go down to um, view elevation profile and click on that and that will open the um, view as we saw earlier in the video where you can see the elevation profile and that's about it i hope that's useful to someone wanting to uh, know how to display their eagle tree flights in google earth thanks for watching <music>